So we were talking in some a, a video we were just shot about how to initiate sex if you're out on a date or hanging out with someone that might be a friend, like you're not sure. And this person wrote in and said, um, I know I have some casual sex protocol weak spots and I'm looking forward to the program that they just purchased from you. On the other hand, how do I in initiate or negotiate entering into a relationship with someone? I feel that during the first couple of dates, especially the first one, uh, or even the first one, I can broach casual sex and set boundaries on things that will keep it pleasurable, balanced, and healthy. However, I feel like talking about having a relationship with someone isn't really a first or even fifth date topic because you don't know the person well enough to know whether a relationship would, with them would work. But if someone something has moved very if we're in just casual sex area, how can I talk about transitioning from casual sex to a relationship? And I'm sitting here with Reed Mahalko from AboutSex.com. And that's Kathy Bartuli from the IntimacyDojo.com, if you haven't figured that out already. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, so I, the way, do you have, a, I have thoughts, but do you, you, I'm you interested in stuff? your thoughts. You're more interested in my thoughts? thoughts? Yes. Um, Kathy, will not, Kathy Bartuli of the Intimacy Dojo will not share her thoughts. Sometimes you can't stop me. Um, so I think talking about it, like just sitting down and saying, hey, I'm noticing that I really enjoy our time together. And I've had this conversation before. It's like, wow, this feels kind of special. Like On I'm, a first date? Not on a first date. But isn't that what their scenario is? They're was? asking, you know, they said that he didn't, or he or she said they didn't know if it was a first date conversation. Oh. But they're asking about how to transition from casual sex arena to like you're having casual sex with someone mm -hmm. and that's what you negotiated and now you're like oh this feels really like I, won't, I might want to take this further Got it. Um, so it, it is for me I always find it very awkward and I feel shy like we've already agreed on this I shouldn't be having feelings um, I shouldn't be interested in more but talking to someone like hey I'm noticing that this feels kind of special like I'm really enjoying our time together would that bring out that reaction to you? Like he's no. looking all, you're looking all startled. Um, Is this whole video just you declaring undying love for me, Kathy? I was talking to them. Are you, how do I know that you're not the one who submitted this question? Uh, well, it's, dun, dun, dun. it's actually spelled much better than I would do. Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 Um, <laughs> spell check before you send stuff to Kathy, everyone. No, I said they spell better than I do. Oh, 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 okay. I take it back. Yeah, no, I'm, That's a, I'm, true. A, I'm a really Kathy's. best. He corrects. Apostrophes. It's they're and randoms. I feel like it's an equal distribution. They should be it's distributed evenly throughout the sentence. Wow. Okay. Um, so punctuation aside. <laughs> no, so like I've taught, I've had the conversation where I was having a casual sex relationship with someone. Mm. And I was starting to feel feels, feels. Mm -hmm. and I tend to be less direct than you. I was How's like, it going for you? <laughs> "Wow, ouch! Wow, I'm just gonna go over here quietly by myself." It's okay, like, I'll take you? over. Um, no, come on, come back, come back. I hope they, I hope you're enjoying this because <laughs> we are. Um, okay, so I'm more direct than you, but yeah, it's, but I was like. The, like I would express like this felt really good like I it feels kind of special to me I'm wondering how it felt for you and you would be saying it that way because you're testing whether or not well I'm, they I'm have sharing, feels I'm sharing genuinely what I felt I'm like kind of like broaching the topic but not like hey I know we said casual sex but I think I have feels do you want to go further like to me that feels very direct and uncomfortable okay so I would rather like be, I mean, I think I'm being clear enough. Maybe I'm not. I'd love feedback. What's the difference between the way you did it and the way I did it as far as like. So how would you do it? Casual relationship. You're interested in, in relationship, making it more romantic or. Well, I mean, again, you know, I don't. There's not a documentary following me around on the kinds of casual sex I have. Yes. Like a Jane yes. Goodall. Like I. I've been living with Reed and all of his hookups. We're hiding in the, the bushes and watching. I believe that, that they're beginning to accept me now. They've forgotten <laughs> about the cameras. Um, I don't know what. That's not how Jane Goodall talks. Um, but, uh, Sorry, Jane. Yes, Jane, if you're watching. Um, <laughs> the uh, I, I tend to not over-talk like, oh my God, Reed, shut up. 
but more like, hey, here are the things I wonder about. Okay, so can well, so, could you role model? Well, but like, so if I was if I was having casual sex with somebody and I was starting to have feels, mm -hmm. as soon as I noticed I was having feels, I'd be like, hey, I'm noticing I'm having feels. Okay. So where I think a lot of people, but now that might I, be, I might not like, I might not get like feels like, what does that mean? Yeah. But then we have a conversation where I think a lot of people start to falter is they notice that they're having feels and then all this time happens while they're trying to get courage to speak up about it. Okay. So if you said, which to me feels like torture. So I blurt things out sooner than later because I, I can't handle that torture well. Okay. So say someone said, like you said, you had your... I like you! What does that mean? Yes. Can you explain? Like, I, I wouldn't would... do it in that voice. I'd be like, I like you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's stroking his beard like... Um, <laughs> No, it would it, the way it would would be is like, oh, hey, I'm noticing something. Okay, what's up? Like the, this feels really special to me. So like I'm I'm crushing on you. I cop to when I'm crushing on people as immediately, and I just tell them, hey, just you know, I'm crushing on you. I have a lot of crushy energy around you. I can totally handle it. Like I can I can not shut it down, but like it doesn't have to spill on you. Or I can tell you when I'm crushing on you. Like what feels best for you. I like that you added, I can handle it, like there's no pressure. Yeah. Um, so at the same time, like if I'm starting to have feels, it's kind of, it's, it's very rinse and repeat for me. It's, oh, so I'm starting to have feels. I'm starting to catch myself thinking about us like dating, dating, not being casual. Um, I can totally handle all that, but I just thought I would, one, let you know, so I wasn't hiding something from you because that's weird um, and creates weirdness for me, but also let you know that like if you see me being weird, it's because I like you. I can handle all that, but like, how does like? Do you wanna? Do you have any preferences on how I handle it? Do you like me? Like me too? Like, like, and then I'm just having a conversation about what's a good fit. Yeah, and I really loved how you shared that, and I'd like to come back and do another video about how weed is handling his energy around that because it's felt very easy to receive. Versus, I think a lot of people are. If we don't find a lot of people that <laughs> see, yeah, that's a little creepy. It's very creepy. Come We're back to another video, Kathy. Help! Help! Help. Tell them they'd subscribe for us. Please hit subscribe. Subscribe for us. <laughs> for us. For, for us. <laughs> yeah, come back. We'll do another video. <laughs>